everyone, welcome back to Broke Woman Buys. This is Ditsy Daisy. So, Birch Box finally came. It was like this whole big thing where, like, it said it came, but it didn't come. And it was not in my box, like my mailbox, because, you know, that's where you should find your things. But it wasn't in there. So, like, I talked to the post office, and they were like, no help at all. They didn't even, like, message me back, which is awesome. But I did talk to Birchbox, who got another one sent out to me. So, yay, Birchbox. So, in every Birchbox, you get this card. And it tells you what you got in your box. I did end up getting the... Um, the curated box because I didn't find anything that interesting from their other stuff. So let's go through this. First off, we have this This Works it's Time for Sleep Sleep Spray. I wonder how that works. Oh, random popping out of makeup. All right. So apparently, this cocoons you in a relaxing mist. You enjoy its soothing scents with wild chamomile. Velver and true lavender to help calm the mind as you sleep. So, let's see here. Ugh, that smells like lavender. Ugh, oh. I thought it might be mild on the lavender. <laughs> I bet you, Siku, are you like mellow? He's a cat. He doesn't care. Okay, up next we have a Moroccan body souffle. It's a body conditioner. This one is 0.6 fluid ounces. Its full size is $20, and it's a combination of argan and creamy shea butter that leaves skin soft and silky. And it has, like, a delicate Mediterranean-inspired scent. Let's try to smell that. Okay, so this... <clears throat> It does smell really good. I can't really smell much over the lavender right now. But it exploded all over me. I'm having issues with cream products today. And so I'm wearing it now. It does feel slightly greasy. And just had that put on. It's slightly greasy. But it feels like it's absorbing in. So we'll give this the benefit of the doubt. Okay, so next up we have something by Aven. It's the Hydrant's Optimal Hiding, Hydrating Cream. It's rich. It's not full size. The full size is $32. And it's a nourishing face cream that restores skin's natural barrier and balances hydration all day using shea butter and the brand's thermal spring water. So that's cool. And look, I still have that lotion on my finger. That's awesome. So I'm excited about that. I love moisturizers and hey, it's coming up October. Haven't had any snow yet, which is totally rare. But any day now, right? Next up, we have the Air Repair Super Hydrating Eye Cream. So we are going to have like super hydrated skin. It's awesome. This one is... The full size is $23. This is not full size. It's a potent cream that hydrates the under eye skin, reducing puffin puffiness, brightens dark circles, and diminishes fine line. So, yay. Okay, last up, we have the Make Lipstick. This is Make Silk Lip Cream Lipstick in Taffy. This hydrating antioxidant lipstick pulls double duty as a moisturizing treatment, so you'll have smudge-proof, long-lasting color, and conditioned lips. Oh, my fingers are way too oily to open that. Hold on a sec. Okay, so it looks like a nice pink color. Try to get to a swatch, but doesn't want to focus right now, so 
I'll just insert it because you know that works. There we go. Ha. See what happens when you threaten it? If it fits, if I fits, I sits. Right, Suku? Yeah. Okay, so this is what I got in my box. Overall, it was a decent box, but I'm not 100% sure I'm going to be doing Birch Box next month because I really wasn't too happy with the selection of sample choices and all that other fun stuff. Next up, I have the other items that were missing out of my Ipsy bag for last month. It looks like this is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil. I do like cleansing oils. They always seem to get your makeup better because, you know, like versus like and stuff like that. And then we have the NYX Vivid Brights. Looks like it's good. Okay, so this is the NYX in Gunmetal, Vivid Brights. We have a brush tip applicator, and it is a nice silver color. I have seen this on the eyes before on other people, and it does look as though it can be a little bit streaky, but my swatch went on fine. Alright, so that's it for October 2016 Birch Box. Thank you guys so much.